guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an updated video in this series. I believe I believe it is a series that I do like once or twice a year. It is a video all about the pants that I've hit in products and since I did this last the number of products has only increased like insanely amount. I have no idea why the list wasn't updated last time because I had so many more products that I've hit pan on in the last video that I didn't include and I don't know why. So here's an updated video and I believe this time around I have all the pans that I've hit pan on in my collection. So let's start out with the base and then we can finish off with the eyeshadows. I have considered for like next time only like doing a video with only eyeshadows and then a video with everything else. I saw Rebecca Morgan do this, like a separate video for her eyeshadows. I think mostly because she did a Pando's eyeshadows and then she could she could talk a little bit more about the products. Let me know if that is something you are interested in, but for this video we're going to talk about everything. So grab a snack make a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you want to drink and let's get started because there's a lot. The first product that I want to talk about is my Dirty 7 Go Concealer. This is a pot concealer, obviously, that I hit pan on majorly in a project pan. Most of these pans actually comes from project pans and you would not be surprised if you know something about my channel because I do mainly project pans on this YouTube channel. Can I say channel one more time? There are 7 grams of product in these jars, so it takes a long time to just hit pan on them. I'm very close on a second, but for this video, I only have one pot to show you guys. I'm sure this is going to be here next time I update you guys on this kind of video. But let's see. I do really love this concealer, I do. I have three of them in my collection and they will be here forever if I don't finish up something, some of, one of them. So put them over here when I have talked about them, shall we? Okay, I have two face powders here. There's actually three powders, but I frankened one of them and you will always already have seen that in a video. I like to franken and mix stuff up and yeah, just mix stuff up. The first powder is a Dove, they're both Dove 7. The W7 Flawless Face Pressed Powder, this one right here. They, it has some small color correcting bits in it, these bits right here, but I don't find them really color correcting at all. They just fall out <laughs> oh, annoying. But yes, I hit major pan on this powder and it is the only powder that I have in my collection for my face only. I do like it, but I'm excited to like finish it up and f find something else. Then my Franken powder is a mixture of the W7 selfie powder, which is like a blueish highlighting powder for under your eyes, and a banana shade from my NYX highlight and contour palette. Um, so I use this on my face, on under my eyes at the moment, and I do have this in a project. So yeah, but you will have seen me repressing this in a video that I just put up. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here or down below or something like that. So you can go watch it. <laughs> okay, I think that is everything for the base. So let's take bronzers, highlighters and blushes, shall we? I have four blushes here. I would actually have more if I didn't repress them together. <laughs> I had uh, my Benefit Coil Lista with a pan, but I repressed it with Bagatua. So now I don't have pen on that one anymore. Well, I have my blush from MAC. It is Make Your Mine. This is a blush perfect for the autumn and winter. And I'm very excited to be working on this soon, I think. Because it is a perfect color because it's a little bit darker. So I think it's really nice in the winter time. I have a blush from Essence. It is the Mosaic blush in Miss Floral Curl. Can't talk. And I hit double pan on this one. Most of these pans actually comes from pan in everything, like my pretty pan pie. When you try to pan on stuff and then move on to something else, 
so that is mainly why I have so many pans. And this year I have mainly tried tried to hit pan on my items because I most of my collection is not really used. So I try to rotate and stuff like that. The next blush is a candy flush from W7. And I have a pan on this one as well. This is a beautiful like baby pink blush. And the other one was obviously coral. And this is a pinky coral blush as well. It is the Balm Fred Boy, a very popular blush here on YouTube. And this is my pan. I really want to work on this soon as well, or more, because it's getting older. And I want to move them out at some point. And I actually have two of that blush. that The full size and then the luxe size in another palette. Or oh, one I'm going to depot soon. I haven't done it yet. Okay, let's do some bronzers, shall we? We have the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. Huge one right here. There's, uh, oh, there was 15 grams of product in this. And as you can see, I have used up quite a bit of it. My Franken Bronzer is repressed into a powder compact. But this is a My Franken Bronzer. I believe there is a little bit of this bronzer from Essence in it. There is some Hoola bronzer. There is... An eyeshadow bronzer thing from Manakada in this. Um, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of products in this bronzer, and I really want to have it gone. When this is done, I can call my Hula and that Manakada small duo thing done, which is really exciting because that means I have two bronzers out of my collection, and I hope to have them done this year. Okay, one more bronzer. It comes from my NYX. Uh, no, Wet n Wild duo, highlight and bronzer duo, I think. So this is the bronzer side, obviously, and that is a small part that is in. Is this in this bronzer too? I do think so. So, yeah, I need to work on this soon as well because it's not culture free. A cream highlighter from W7. It is the Strobe Struck highlighter. You have seen this a lot this year because I had it in my Partners and Cream project pan. And then I found my Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. I was actually going to work on this in my whole collection for Japan, but I couldn't find it when I wanted to put it in. But here it is in all its glory. I have seven pans out of eight and that makes me really excited. <laughs> yeah, I mainly had pan on these in my Pi project pan and I do think the two lightest shades down here, um, over there, <laughs> Uh, was in another project pan where we tried to hit pan. Very excited about this palette. It looks so used and it is and I love it. Okay, I actually forgot a highlighter and I'm putting this into the video. I have hit pan on my Technique Get Gorgeous highlighter. This one right here. This is a baked highlighter so it was really hard to um, finish off the part that I did right there. I did franken it with another highlighter last year, which I used up and so I can count this small piece down here. Done. Because it is a big product, it will take me forever and a day to use up. But I have worked on... Oops, last year I also worked on this part right here um, to flatten that out. Um, beautiful shade. I don't think there's any more highlighter. Shall we just take it? I have a gel eyeliner from L'Oreal, which I had in my Partners in Cream as well. This one right here. It is just a black eyeliner. Really want to have that done this year as well. I don't know if I can do it. I will do my best. Clear Vaseline, like a Vaseline. This is where I am with this. I'm so happy about this progress. There's so much pan. And the product is like half full or something like that. Really exciting because it takes a long time to go through this. It contained 40 grams of product and now it's like 20. So that is really exciting. The only lip products I have, because I don't own any other lip palettes than this, this is the lip side of the BH Cosmetics Gen XO palette. I have pan in every single shade and obviously I have one done in like one lip application, like full lip application. You can hit pan on these and I don't put a lot on. Right now I'm actually using um, these four as a blush, like separate, not mixing it. I've been very good at using these as cream blushes and I have been really enjoying it. They are really nice and they last 
so long on your cheeks and it just gave a, a perfect color on your cheeks underneath your blush. So I have, I have been really enjoying the lipstick as a blush method this month. Okay, I believe the rest is eyeshadows. Maybe there's a few brow products or eyeshadows that I use as brow products, but let me just take you through everything. Let's take the single shadows that I have in a compact. I have a Kiko High Pigment in number 18. This is like a gold color. So beautiful. I love this one so much. I have a Kiko single as well in 139. This is like a rose gold color. Such a beautiful shade. I miss working on some of these items. I really do, or use them once in a while. I have the P2 The Future Is Mine eyeshadow. You would know this from my single ladies and my man mad if you have followed along this year at least. Um, I have made your pan on this one. Such a beautiful shade as well. And then we have a Colourpop Super Shock shadow in Cricut. And Rebecca Morgan actually sent me this just because she wanted to and that is so nice of her. I have never used any Colourpop uh, items before she sent me this one and another one that I still haven't repressed. She sent me these two Super Shock shadows last summer. And I try to wear it down evenly and not just hit pan in the center because I know that it's really easy with these ones. But yes, this is a beautiful purpley lavender color. It would actually match this dress really nicely that I have on today. Okay, my Panda palette. I don't think I have too many spoilers in this because you have already seen my video where I frankened my Panda palette or one of the shades at least. I have three pans in my new Panda palette. Um, these two right here. This is a Benefit shadow and this is a Franken shadow. And then one of the Catrice single shadows right here. But yes, I really love the new palette. I haven't talked about it. This is the first time since I did the video or yeah. I'm really excited about this. So check that out as well if you haven't already. I have my small C palette here and this one is from Nabla. Look how pretty it is. It's like rose gold leaf and with a light pink, baby pink background. So let me go through my single shadows with you that I have in this one. These three are repressed shadows from um, a W7 palette. These are colors that I use in my brows. Um, so these two I have pan on right now. It was really easy to have pan on them because they are not very deep because they are repressed. And when I repressed them into these pans, I had pan on them in the palette before. So I have used a chunk of them already and repressing them. I should just have mi mixed them together. I should, but I don't want to now. Um, I don't care. <laughs> this is an Essence uh, Single Shadow in Snowflake. This, this is what I have mainly been using, uh, plus that Benefit shadow in uh, my Franken shadows in my Panda palette. This is like half done now. <laughs> well, in this pan at least. This is another high pigment from Kiko in 54. Yes, 54, like a beautiful purple color. Another purpley color is Anarchy from Makeup Geek. I have Cosmopolitan from Makeup Geek and Morocco from Makeup Geek. This was the old formula before the square ones. And I believe she now discontinued most of her shades. I haven't really checked up on that because I try not to be tempted to buy more stuff. And the last uh, shadow right here is Colored Rain from... It is a Colored Rain eyeshadow in Side of Olives. <laughs> it's like an olive shade. So, yes. And this is a Nabla shade that I haven't um, hit pan on, obviously. But I have used. I think that was the singles. And now let's take the palettes. This is the W7 Major Matte Palette. I have pan on three out of nine shadows in here. These three, obviously. And right now I am consistently working on these two. So that is really nice. I have had this in my single ladies and my Mad for 
like the first half of 2020 so you have seen this a lot and you will continue to see this a lot because I really want to work more on it but just not in that project but in Pi. Then you have seen this a lot on my channel as well. It is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. Oh my god. <laughs> it is everywhere. I use this for my Franken shadows as well. So it looks a little rough. But I have three pans. The pink and the green I uh, pan on in a panda palette that I did for this. Like in four, three, four months. Maybe less. Um, and then the yellow I actually pan on while doing the single or the Franken shadow. So that is not an official pan before I <laughs> finish off the yellow in my panda palette. Um, but yeah, there's pan in it. So I counted. My Too Faced chocolate bar. This has been through so much because I have panned it for an entire year in 2018. And I have been using it here and there in 2019 and here in 2020. So it looks so rough and so well used. And it is well used. I actually have pan in all shades except for Gilded Ganache. I don't like that shade. I have talked about that so much. These two right here are repressed so they technically have pan but I haven't re hit pan yet. This is a Franken shadow of uh, nothing from this palette <laughs> basically. Um, there's a little bit of Essence Snowflake in this and there are some Morphe shadows in it and Stuff like that. I just wanted a really, really, really light shade that was not as shimmery as Marzipan. Um, and this is um, some broken shadow from uh, Divina Shadow that I repressed in this. So this has been through uh, a lot and it always stays on my makeup table because I really want to use it up at some point. So I just use it here and there and always have it out. But I will say the formula is not a favorite of mine, but I enjoy reaching for it and using it every single day. Um, and I do. I mainly use this because I really want to use that up. Um, that small bit right there. Then we have the W7 Enchanted palette. You have seen this a lot on my channel. This palette means a lot to me. Um, not because of the way I bought it, but where I bought it to. England engagement 2019. Small recap. I have pan on Mystical. This um, beautiful medium brown transition crease color. I really like this palette and I would love to have more pants on this in 2020. No, 2021. I don't think I can hit pan on it in this year. But next year, I hopefully have more pants on this. Then I have two pants in my Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. As you know, Blush Tribe is no longer here, but I have two pants in this Sique and Friends. Two beautiful, amazing green shades. Like, oh! I forgot Aubergine. Aubergine, this one right here. I have pan on that as well. How could I forget that? I don't know. Okay, then we have the MDK Vice 4 palette. And I have pan in two. I have in Flame and Arctic, I believe they're called. And I had pan on those last year. And this one has been a part of a few Franken shadows this year. So I have a good dip in that one, but I try not intentionally. Um, to hit pan on shadows while I scrape off product to Franken. I try to wear it down evenly so I can realistic hit pan on them when I want to work on them. That is why you can't see a lot of pans um, in the shadows that I have been using for Frankening. Unless I had pan on them before, then I take the rim like in the Essence and the Benefit shadow. Okay, then we have my Morphe palette and that is actually going to be the last item um, that I physically <laughs> can show you guys in this video. And this is the OM palette, so it is a warm toned only matte palette. And I have a lot of pan in this. I had it in my Single Ladies and My Man Matte project pan last year, so it was kind of a panda palette, but kind of not at the same time. I was trying to pan on as many shades as I could in that project, and I had pan on all of those that you can see right here. 13 shades, um, and then I used this one and this one from for a Franken shadow. Yes, these two for the orange Franken shadow in my panda palette. Okay, I totally forgot to put items over here when I was done talking about them. Never mind me. Don't mind me. Okay, the last item that I want to talk to you guys about that I can remember that I don't have here, but I still have in my collection, but I haven't departed 
into my single C palette, so it's like a part of my single shadows, but I count it. It's really confusing, but I will have that video filmed soon, because I'm tired of saying it. So this is the last time I'm going to say it, okay? <laughs> It is a shade from the Bom Bom Jovi Rockstar palette and it is called Metallica. It is a beautiful silvery white shade that I mainly have used as my inner corner highlight in um, in looks and I had it in a it was like it was a pretty pen that I did with Amanda in like 2017 until some time in 2018 I think. Man, that is a long time ago. But I hit pan on that shade and that is my favorite shade from that palette, so that is the only shade that I have thought about depotting. Um, plus the blush that I talked about. But yeah, I will insert a picture because I don't have it with me and I'm very pregnant and I'm tired and I'm hot and I don't want to go downstairs to get it. I'm just going to insert a picture so you can see it. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I haven't talked for a very long time. As I said in the beginning, let me know if you want to, uh, if you want me to split it up in two for next time, like an eyeshadow that I hit pan on and then other products that I have hit pan on. I do think it is very ex exciting to see all the pa eyeshadow pans that I've hit pan on and for next year I am planning to do pan notes eyeshadows, so um, there, um, there will be more palettes to come in this kind of video so let me know if you want to see that please let me know down below in the comments yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video please take care i love you guys and i hope you're well bye